Hello, I'm Janet. I'm Ashley. And I'm Amber. And we are two girls and a bottle of wine. Because men like food. And girls like wine. We're back. It's been like a month. Literally. I know. It was kind of crazy there for a while. Life, right? Uh, yeah. So what's well, up with I- you guys? Oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say the night that we ended up um, canceling or rescheduling, I actually didn't get home until like eight o'clock that night. So mm. it was probably just better that we didn't didn't try. Right. So what's new with you guys? Ashley got fat. <laughs> Her baby's growing. <laughs> it's oh, a pretty belly. How far are she's we out? She's got a big belly. How far are we out from arrival date? Uh, we are like 36 days or something like that. Mm. How are you feeling, Ashley? Uh, like a whale. <laughs> oh, Amber, you just made her feel worse. Nah, she's fine. <laughs> I love her cute belly. Yeah, my boobs are looking good, though, right? You got mm-hmm. some good cleavage. <laughs> yep. Yes. I think we talked about that last time, too. That's like <laughs> yeah. the positive of pregnancy. How's the nursery planning baby gifts registry thing going? <laughs> Uh, I have a registry finally. Oh, where? Um, I, it's on baby list. Um, because, so I'm gonna. I'm planning on doing an Amazon and a Target one as well. But I hate that. So this is the shitty thing about registries. I can't just like write a list and post it somewhere and then like link the like if there's a product that I like, link that particular product. But if there's, like, a product that I don't care about, like, for instance, onesies. I can't just put onesies on the list. I have to, like, link it to particular ones. So I told my mom, I was like, I'm not even going to put that on there because I know people will want to buy clothing that they think is cute. So buy the clothing that you think is cute. I don't care. It's not that I don't need it. I just don't want to specify what it is that people have to buy. But, like... I don't know. So anyway, baby list lets you add it from anywhere. It doesn't just have to yeah. be on Amazon. So we'll put That's what I thought. on there and it might be available at Target or Walmart or Amazon or whatever. And you as a, if you're going to get a gift, you can pick wherever you want to buy it from. You're not obligated, but I'm still going to do Amazon and Target because I know they give you a percentage off if, you don't like fill your registry. So I'm still going to put like all the same items on both of those lists that way. um, And probably more that way we can maybe get like the percentage off. And then that would be cool. I just pulled up your baby list. Thank you for using your maiden name. Um, (laughs) That was so smart of you. (laughs) Cause I'm like, (laughs) I don't want to ask your new name. What? I haven't changed my name. (laughs) Oh, Okay. Um, but it looks like it has Amazon, Walmart, and Target on some of these. Like, just compare pricing. Yeah. So that's the beauty of it. You just put the item on there, and then it, it, it'll, it like, you as a shopper, it could tell you where you can find it cheapest. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, like, if I were to only do Amazon, it would only show you the Amazon items, and maybe it was cheaper at Walmart. Mm-hmm. You, you'd never know that. Very cool. How are you feeling? What was that face you just made, Ashley? That was, um, I'm having a lot of heartburn. Oh. <laughs> heartburn is the worst part. Um, hold on. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I think I have someone at the door. Okay. <laughs> Amber, what's new with you? Um, I got an amazing uh, Christmas gift from one of my team members today. Yeah, you did. That's I'm covered so in jealous. glitter. Um, it was pretty amazing when I got to work this morning. I All I saw was this little, like, silver um, gift bag on my desk. And, like, the pink fluffy um, fur was kind of sitting up out of it. But she's super cute, very thoughtful. And so um, she brought in all of her gifts today for people. And so she had covered a bottle of red wine and um, glitter for me. And it's amazing. That's awesome. What are you drinking? What is the wine? So it's Stella Rose, um, which tends to be a sweeter wine. And they also have smaller um, little cans that you can buy. The watermelon one 
highly recommended. Um, but it is a little bit sweeter and it's like sparkling kind of, but this is their black label that I'm drinking. So it's a sweeter, like cherry blackberry wine. It's not as sweet as a port, but it's definitely not, even though it's red in color, it's not bold or dry or anything. It's very, um, sweet. It's like drinking a uh, fruit juice. Nice. That could be dangerous though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's only like 5% alcohol in it though. So that's good. That's good. It's pretty Safe. lame. Safe for Wednesday. Yes. I got my shipment in of the Red 55 Winery wine today. So I am drinking a Red 55 Winery Moscato called Wild Card, which was the title of Miranda Lambert's most recent album. And it's fantastic. I actually, earlier, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, Saturday I got my, um, because I'm part of the Spade and Sparrows Wine Club. Mm -hmm. So I got my six shipment, or my six bottles. So I got the Rosé, the Pinot Noir, and she just released her cab. So I got the cab, too. Super stoked. Excellent. That kind of transitions us into (laughs) Dancing with the Stars news. It does. (laughs) <laughs> if I can remember all the way back to Dancing with the Star. The only important th- <laughs> part is is that Caitlin won. Yes, she, this is true. And uh, Jason's reaction when she won, I saw that video oh. posted everywhere. It was so amazing. It was so cute. Yeah. It, it got down to her versus... Who is that other um, guy? Oh, Neve. Neve, yes. I knew it was like a short name. I liked I liked him too, but I was really glad that Caitlin won. Do you think this is going to prevent them from putting other Bachelor Nation people on? I could. Because Bachelor Nation is such a force. There's oh, yeah, so totally many is. numbers. Like Yeah. I know a lot of people are like, she only won because Bachelor Nation. I was that's what do you think she was undeserving though? No. No. I think she still did a great job and she really showed improvement over the time too and took all of their notes so i don't i mean i think that she still did a really good job it's just having two bachelor nation nation people win back to back like grocery store joe made it further than he should have but he didn't win you know right um there's been other people from bachelor nation on dancing with the stars i forget um so sean low was on i don't remember i don't think he won though um uh, I don't remember who else. Didn't Trista do it? I think you're right. Um, but I think more men have been on it than women. Um, and there was one relationship that. <laughs> Sorry. Porter <laughs> hit my phone and knocked it over. Ashley, sit was... still. <laughs> I'm kidding. Right? I'm kidding. I really, I can't with the pregnancy. It, like, I can't sit for very long because it's so uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, like, up and down and everywhere all the time. <laughs> so before we jump into any other of our other shows, did you see the article I posted about the Colorado words? I thought I it was so cute. And since we are all here in Colorado, the three of us, um, even though there's people listening from other places, I think it, it's funny to share this this type of information. Do you agree? Oh, yeah. So these are some words that Coloradans tend to use in a way that is a bit different than most of the country. So um, the first one, what is happening? Go away. He would not leave. Go away. He loves you. No, he doesn't. He just wanted to say hi and be on the camera, and I made him go. Oh. So the first one is powder. Ashley, do you have it up? No. Okay, Amber. Posted? Yeah, it's in the Google Docs. Um, oh, so I... everywhere else, powder is like a makeup or, you know, sometimes it's referred to, that's what cocaine is referred to, but in general, it's a fine particle once part of a larger material. Amber, do you want to tell us what it means here in Colorado? Here in Colorado, it is a reason to take off work, head for the hills. And in Colorado, a powder day means a fresh snowfall. So a lot of people also call it pow-pow. I was going to say, let me, since I don't have it up in front of me, let me guess what it means in Colorado and see if I'm right. That's fun. All right. The second one, 
Oh, she's got that. Yeah, she does. The second one is hops. So what it means everywhere else is jumping around several times, often on one foot. Ashley, what does hops mean in Colorado? Beer. Well, is related to beer. Yes. In Colorado, it is an ingredient found in craft beer known for giving each blend its own unique flavor. Gross. I'm not (laughs) I'm not a hoppy ju- beer drinker. Neither am I. I don't like hoppy. The next one is tan. Ashley, what does the word tan mean in Colorado? Everywhere else, it's a color known for its bland nature. I don't know. I don't know this one. So in Colorado, it means um, it's a means of determining which sports someone partakes in without even having to ask. Whether it's a wrist tan line from a sport watch or Google raccoon eyes from skiing in the or Google raccoon eyes from skiing in the high country. And then it has like a woman where you can see and most of it is actually red though. Like it's a little sunburn. We're very close to the sun. Yeah. We're very very close close to the sun. sun. (laughs) The next one is snow bunny. So everywhere else, a long haired type of rabbit found in snowy regions around the world. Are these the chicks that hang out in at the um what do you call it? Yeah, like the lodge. Yeah, lodge. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Um in Colorado, it is a type of ski hill patron that puts more time into their outfit than their skiing, often found at the bottom of the slopes with a drink in their hand or in a hot tub at their resort, which has always been my goal. <laughs> right. Um, number five is donkeys. Now, what it means everywhere else, it's a hoofed animal similar to a horse, but smaller, traditionally used to carry heavy equipment. Yeah, I don't know this one either. What? Ah, nickname for our Denver Broncos, Ashley. Uh, Come on now. It's our favorite sports team here in Colorado. No, it's not. I was like, no, she's a baseball <laughs> person. But she's also a Cowboys fan. Yeah, this year they suck. I and her husband nothing. is a Lions fan. Yeah, they finally fired their coach, so yay. Where are the Lions? Uh, Michigan. Ah, oh, yeah. Cool. All right, the next one um, is Aspen. Everywhere else, it means a fancy ski town somewhere in Colorado. What does it mean here in Colorado, Ashley? She froze. She did freeze. But would you like to take a guess, Ashley? Can you see me now? I doubt we're still recording if she froze. <laughs> no, we are totally recording. I'm going to say trees. You are correct. One of the most stunning trees in the state, known for their bright yellow coloring during autumn. I'm, you're probably going to have to re-record all this. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Now it's my my phone, which we'll talk about phones in a minute. All right, number seven. You guys went over this while I was having phone issues. So Yeah, sorry. We thought we might still be recording. So it's a boulder, which it means a large rock everywhere else. Amber, what is it here in Colorado? So it is a town known for its food, high student population, and close proximity to nature. Also, occasionally a large rock. And Ashley pointed out that there is also a thing here called boulderine. And a lot of people tend that are not in Boulder tend to hate the people that live in Boulder. Yeah, they definitely have a they get a Yeah, they get a bad rap for sure. Really? Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know that it's bad. It's just it's different. It's uh like I think if you're native, it's it's bad. Oh, okay. I'm not native, so Me. I don't yeah. think I just Nick talks some mad shit about people that live in Boulder. Oh, Nick, you just made enemies. <laughs> yeah. If you're listening from Boulder, we love you. Um, but my husband doesn't. <laughs> next up, we have Outback. Ashley, here, um, everywhere else, it's a rural part of Australia known for its rugged terrain and hot temperatures. What do you think it means here in Colorado? Outback. It's- the official state car of Colorado. <laughs> that it is. It is. Yep. It is the car that most Coloradans own or have considered purchasing at one point. No, I I, I was like, I will not own one of those. I've never been also, interested in them. No. It's also like the top car that lesbians buy. The fact. Jeep, Jeep and then out. 
Outback are like the top two. Yeah. I love my. Oh my gosh, the next one is my favorite. This one got me when I moved here. So uh, yeah. in the rest of the world, chili is a thick soup typically consisting of a vegetable medley with meat and a tomato base. Ashley, what is chili here in Colorado? Well, it really depends, Janet, because <laughs> chili I is exactly what you just said. And chili with an E is a... It's an I. <laughs> Sorry. I. Yes, it is chili. We are looking at chili with an I, C-H-I-L-I. And that's the difference between New Mexico and Colorado because chili with an E is like the vegetable and then chili with an I is a stew, a hot stew with green chilies or red yeah. And here in Colorado, a reference to a dish called green chili, sometimes eaten alone and sometimes used as a condiment, this spicy green colored sauce makes nearly any meal better. Now here in Colorado, you will also find to Ashley's point that we have green and red chili. But if you ask Nick, red chili is not red chili. It's um, enchilada sauce. Oh, so Nick needs to come to New Mexico because technically red chili is green chili that's been left on the vine longer and turns red. And in New Mexico, they hang them to dry. And then once they're dry, they're called chili ristras. And they're actually really popular at Christmas time. And um, in order to make the red chili sauce, you rehydrate the dried red chilies. And then you basically pulverize them into a red chili sauce. See, so, none of that. Um, none of that. Enchilada sauce no. is different than red chili. So none of that existed before I moved to Colorado. I was back on what it means everywhere else. A thick soup consisting, and I didn't grow up with vegetables in my chili. It was meat and beans with a red yeah, tomato we, sauce. I have been informed many times here in Colorado that the type of chili that um, Janet and I are used to from the Midwest. That you can get from Wendy's. Yep, is uh, chili beans. Oh, I call that, I just call that Texas chili. Yep, so I've heard that as well. We and um, I've been told to call it chili beans to distinguish the difference. But there's not always beans in it. I've always had beans in my chili. No, if you go to the Hormel chili line or area of the grocery store, there is Hormel chili with and Hormel chili without beans. I didn't like beans. But we make our own chili beans. Mm. That's true. Yeah, I I have. But you are correct. I've won some. I've won two chili cook-off competitions, um, but I didn't – I growing up, I didn't like beans in my chili. Maybe you Hmm. could start calling it, like, tailgate chili because I I also, like, associate that type of chili with uh, Hot dogs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Corn dogs. Mm. Not corn dogs. Oh, you don't dip your corn dogs in chili? No. Okay, sorry. Chili cheese fries. Mm. Frito chili pie. Frito Mm -hmm. pie. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. we got a long (laughs) podcast. (laughs) The next one is South Park. In the rest of the world, it's a popular cartoon on Comedy Central that follows the antics of several characters as they deal with typical and atypical problems of elementary school life. Ashley, what does it mean here in Colorado? I don't know. The only thing I know associated with it is that one restaurant with the waterfalls and the cliff diving. (laughs) What? Casa Bonita. She's oh, because Casa, Casa Bonita, Bonita was mentioned in the cartoon. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Aren't the creators, like, from here or based it yes. on here, something like that? That kind of yeah. leads us so, to the answer, Amber. <laughs> yes. So South Park in Colorado is a grassland flat that's home of home to the tiny towns of Fair Play and Alma. So it's also typically referred to as the state's highest speed trap. They also have a really cool gas station there that sells really good wings. It's on our way to the cabin. We always go through oh. fair play. Mm, so good. Hmm. The next one is craft. What Everywhere else, craft is a do-it-yourself art project. Ashley, what is craft here in Colorado? Uh, like everything. Beer, craft sausages. I don't know why I was thinking about sausages. Um, I guess I'm still on the hot dog thing. Are you hungry? Yeah, I haven't eaten. Oh, my gosh. Oh, don't do that. She's pregnant. (laughs) Also, I just tried pouring my wine with a top on, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. 5%. Um, (laughs) Right? 
Amber, do you want to oh. tell her what a craft is here in Colorado? Yeah. The type of product Coloradans can't get enough of. Implying close attention to production and small batch quantities, including anything from craft lemonade, which I've never heard of, to craft beer, to craft goat cheese. Yeah. Goat. I love me some goat cheese. I know. I have some in my fridge right now. The next one is a Ram. What does it mean everywhere else? It's a popular truck made by Dodge. Oh, Ashley, Ashley? What, what do you a think she- it is? Oh, oh, the yes. Colorado. Oh, yeah, the CU, right? Rams. Oh, no, you were right the first time. But good <laughs> call. Okay. Yeah, so here it's a male bighorn sheep, a relatively common animal found around the state. But also to Ashley's point, there is a Colorado State University who their mascot is a ram. Yep. Next up, transplant. Uh, Everywhere else, the it's a process of taking a damaged organ out of the body and putting in a new one. Ashley? Colorado is literally like 90% of the population. People from yes. other it is so all smart. three of us. Yeah. Someone who moves to Colorado from somewhere else in the country after realizing a centennial state is so stinking awesome. But it's not. Stay away. No, don't move here. <laughs> yeah, one out, one in. Good. No one else can move in until someone nope. else moves out. Um, next up, we have oysters. What it means everywhere else, it's a, it's a type of mollusk often eaten raw. Actually, oh, bulls balls. Yes. Yes. I love them. So, they are so good. So I've never good. had them. Colorado oh, my God. Tennessee. There is a place in, um, oh, my God, I'm forgetting the name of it now. Um, but once it comes back to me in the middle of the podcast and I shout it out, I'll be sure to tell you. Um, but they have the best Rocky Mountain oysters. And these are deep fried. Um, so all Rocky Mountain oysters are deep fried and they actually do not look like bull testicles, but they are bull testicles. They look just like sliced up and Pork they are nuggets. tossed in the fryer. Yeah. Yes. They have really good Rocky Mountain oysters at the Grizzly Rose if if that place ever opens back oh. up again. Oh, Netherlands. That's where it is. There's a little town or there's a little restaurant in Netherlands that has the best Rocky Mountain oysters and a little dipping sauce. So good. So good. Yeah. I'll be going vegetarian when I'm done with baby. <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know. That, oh. I, I've, I've already been leaning towards that, and this conversation just set me up. <laughs> oh, my God, Ashley. They're so good. <laughs> um, the next one up is springs. Everywhere else, it's a piece of metal twisted in a way that makes it bouncy and recoil. What does it mean here in Colorado, Ashley? Uh, well, there are several springs cities around. Um, so I think of the springs like Colorado Springs. Oh, sure. But there are like, I don't know, like four or five different cities that have springs in the name. But yeah, why do they all. have springs in the name? Oh, because they're hot springs. There you go. <laughs> Phone so, a friend. The, the first part, though, says that it's a natural water spout, often forming a sort of drinking fountain. Or a hot spring pool. I have never thought of springs for a drinking fountain. Have you not been to Manitou Springs? If you walk throughout the town, they have those springs where you can fill up your water bottle with fresh, oddly carbonated water from... That's a water fountain. But it's not a water fountain. It's from the the earth. Just because the water is... No, no. (laughs) It's weird not to see Janet's face right now. I know. I, know. I just, I want to, my hands are still moving, still talking with my hands. Real quick. So, Ashley, can we just talk about, let's see here. Hang on. So, Janet, wait, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> oh, can we see? What is that? I don't That's... see that. It's an ad of okay. some sort. Yeah, why are why are you urologist. why do you have a urologist ad you need to ask nick why he has urologist yeah, ads say, popping up nick's computer <laughs> so whatever he's been searching has something to do with his enlarged prostate apparently so my ad is a, a minivan so still oh, yeah, why it doesn't make sense all right the next one is a karen um it's c-a-i-r-n um, everywhere else, it's a name typically given to women. Ashley, what's a Karen in Colorado? No idea. 
Yeah, I've never heard this before in my entire life. Um, it is a stack of rocks used to guide hikers after the trail fades. Despite many people pronouncing this like the name Karen. Like I just did. Know- <laughs> <laughs> the pros know to use one syllable instead of two. So it's Karen. Karen, I have, I knew I was wrong. <laughs> I knew it because I, my girlfriend who's an avid hiker um, tried to okay, teach me after- about Karen's. After every single damn thing, I see that fucking neurologist thing with some guy spreading his legs. This is great. Okay. I now have I now have a toilet paper ad on mine. Um the next one What? Yeah. Are we still having a shortage? They're like she bought too much toilet paper. So we're gonna advertise some more to her. Yeah. When side note, when I was in Missouri, um I went to go buy toilet paper for my mom and i noticed because my mom went to go buy it and it was out and i noticed that they had a couple so i grabbed two and they wouldn't let me buy two i was like one's for my dad and one's for my mom they're divorced damn it <laughs> <laughs> and they're all elderly all right oh, the man. next one is granola everywhere else it's a crunchy snack typically consisting of oats fruits and nuts ashley what is granola here in colorado it's a person it is often referred to to the people from Boulder. I know. I um, almost said I've heard Boulder's very granola when we were talking about Boulder earlier. Yep. So here in Colorado, it is one who tends to be free spirited, socially aware, and open minded. But it does also mean a snack mix. Yes. The last one, Ashley, so you don't have to yawn, <laughs> is saddle. Everywhere else, it's a seat used on the back of a horse for the comfort of the rider. Ashley, what is a saddle here in Colorado? I don't know. It is a dip between two peaks that must be traversed when traveling went from one to another. Mm. Also, a seat for a horseback rider. I'm not a hiker, so <laughs> I get those two. I really thought you were. Yeah. I thought you were into hiking. You know, there was a point in time where we wanted to do that. And then we got dogs that are (laughs) disobedient and that ship sailed. Yep. And all those damn people that moved to Colorado made it like impossible to go out to the mountains and hike on a regular basis. You got to get there at the butt crack of dawn. Exactly. So we have a special announcement. We have a a movie download giveaway alert. We got to talk about. Yes. Um, it's for a movie called The Stand In. It's, um, I think, starting in two days. It's going to be streaming on Redbox on demand. Amber, do you want to tell us about it? Yeah, it stars Drew Barrymore in the hilarious comedy. Um, it is featuring a stellar comedic supporting cast, including TJ Miller and Holland Taylor. Ooh. And it's uber famous. What? I said, ooh, TJ Miller. Oh, no idea what that is. What? Um, An an uber-famous comedy star, Drew Barrymore, hires her on a set stand-in, also Barrymore, to take her place after being ordered to serve a year in rehab. The unassuming woman flips the script and steals the actress's identity, career, and boyfriend in this outrageous comedy about trading places. Stream the stand-in instantly on your smart TV or favorite devices with the Red Box, Red Box app today. FYI, rated R. And it's from Paramount Pictures. So all you oh, have yeah, to part. do, we're going to, we received a few free downloads um, for, um, it's it's just a, like, rental. Like, you don't, you won't have the movie forever, I guess. So we, we have a few um downloads and if you're interested in receiving one just message us on any one of our platforms and we will send you a code to download that it's the stand-in starring drew barrymore i'm very excited have you seen previews for it yet yeah there's a trailer out there oh okay i haven't watched it yet um i like tj miller though do you he so you don't know who he is amber he is He's actually Denver. I think he's from Denver. He is. He oh, yeah, him. Denver comedian. He was in um, the HBO show about yeah. now that this is pregnancy brain again. It's <laughs> like Silicon Valley or something. Yeah, something like that. Nick yeah, used to watch it all the time. 
I met him once at the comedy club when Steve was performing for some like benefit or something. He was also performing. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. He's we a were tall supposed- guy. He, yeah, he, he he's also in since we're in the holidays office Christmas party, which yes. I think is a very underrated movie. It is hilarious. And um, we were supposed to go to his live HBO taping show. I had tickets, and I was deathly sick. I get sick at really inopportune times. You really do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was like really, really nasty sick. So I had to just we had to just not go. Maybe it's and a social so anxiety disorder. Could have been in the hiding. audience of his of his taping, and right. we weren't. Oh my gosh! I do not know what's wrong. It's the iPhone twelve. It is. That's it. <laughs> I know, Ashley. I know. So I don't have to use. maybe it's just the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Right. There you go. So since we recorded last, I got a new phone and Ashley got a new phone. She like upgraded from the iPhone 2. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long. It was the 7 Plus. Oh, I thought it was at least the 4. It still had a home button. Uh, but it was getting to the point where I couldn't open apps and um, I had to charge it like four times a day. <laughs> and um, yeah, so my husband was like, uh, yeah, let's order you a new phone. So I have a new phone. So yeah, very exciting. For How me. does it feel? It is it's smaller than the iPhone 7 Plus, which is nice, so it fits better in my hand. And I was finally able to put the awesome pop socket that Jana bought me on it. Yay! So. See, I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it's bigger than my iPhone 10. I love it. Yeah. No, I mm, I don't like them that big. I do. <laughs> That's what she said. I knew I you was were going to say I that. I was like, said no one ever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But then I got worried we lost Janet again. So, yeah, if if I go quiet. Yeah. yeah, she got quiet again. Damn it. All right. Lots of technical difficulties. And I think it has to do with the iPhone. And I'm going to research that after we're done. If I freeze again, you guys just keep on the conversation because I think it's picking it up. Okay. Okay. All right. Bachelorette. Go. Okay. So we have a lot going on because there's. Okay. She's frozen. <laughs> she's frozen, people. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, she's back. Yeah, go, go, go. And it, okay, it recorded the entire right. time, Ashley and Amber. Good thing I didn't curse too loudly. Yeah. Okay, we've got like three weeks of recaps. We started out when we had 19 guys. That was when we last left off. All left off. We had a grown man challenge. With Ashley and Jared hosting it, and this was which the, I hated. this was the first week of just Tasha, right? Yes, that is correct. Yes, and this is when I really started to hate Bennett. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But first, Jared's hair literally didn't notice. What he looked so good, and I've never thought he looked good. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't catch on up. See, this is when I I started to dislike Chasen. But carry on with your Bennett. Oh. Well, so Bennett continues to all of a sudden start, like, talking about how smart he is because he's super smart from Harvard. From Harvard. Um, Super annoying. He failed half the questions, including ones that were, like, how to spell things. Limousine. Um, Math. Time. Yeah. It was not okay. And then he faked, I don't know, he probably did have a football injury, but he didn't do, like, the action or the physical challenge because he had an old football injury. And then when he had to feed um, or make breakfast for Tasha, he like showed up in a robe and sat in bed and made out with her. And he made beignets. Bennett made beignets. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> okay. Which is also funny because Claire was engaged to a beignet, right? Benoit. Oh, so <laughs> Good try. Same difference, guys. Still French. <laughs> oh, but what did you think about Chasen? I was so annoyed by Chasen. He he took his shirt off and yeah, he was and he too. got he said that the kiss that Tasha and Bennett shared was cringy. The kiss that Tasha needs is I didn't write this down, but Janet's frozen, so I'm gonna <laughs> make it up. Um, the kiss that Tasha needs for his white chocolate is downtown. 
That's right, people. <laughs> Can you see me yet? And then <laughs> we go on to Ed, who ended up getting the Man Child Award, which I, I still don't understand. I don't know how he ended up getting the Man Child and fucking Bennett got the Growing Ass Man Award when yeah. he couldn't spell or answer any of the questions and he didn't do the physical challenge. But showed up in a robe, and now he's like, "Oh yeah, here I am to save the day." The all right, lots of technical difficulties, and I think it has to do with the iPhone. And I'm going to research that after we're done. If I freeze again, you guys just keep on the conversation because I think it's picking it up. Okay. Okay. All right, Bachelorette, go. Okay, so we have a lot going on because there's okay. She's frozen. She's frozen, people. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. Oh, she's back. Yeah, go, go, go. And it, okay, it recorded the entire guys. time, Ashley and Amber. Good thing I didn't curse too loudly. Yeah. Okay, we've got like three weeks of recaps. We started out when we had 19 guys. That was when we last left off. All left off. We had a grown man challenge with Ashley and Jared hosting it. And this was which the, I hated. This was the first week of just Tasha. Right? Yes, that is correct. Yes. And this is when I really started to hate Bennett. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But first, Jared's hair. Literally didn't notice. What? He looked so good, and I've never thought he looked good. Yeah, I didn't I didn't catch on up. See, this is when I, I started to dislike Chasen. But carry on with your Bennett. Oh. Well, so Bennett continues to all of a sudden start, like, talking about how smart he is. Because he's super smart from Harvard. From Harvard. Um, super annoying. He failed half the questions, including ones that were like how to spell things. Limousine. Um, math. Time. Yeah. It was not okay. And then he faked, I don't know, he probably did have a football injury, but he didn't do like the action or the physical challenge because he had an old football injury. And then when he had to feed um, or make breakfast for Tasha, he like showed up in a robe and sat in bed and made out with her. And he made beignets. Annoyed. Bennett made beignets. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> okay. Which is also funny because Claire was engaged to a beignet, right? Benoit. Good uh, so <laughs> Same difference, guys. Still French. <laughs> oh, but what did you think about Chasen? I was so annoyed by Chasen. He he took his shirt off and yeah, he was and he too. got he said that the kiss that Tasha and Bennett shared was cringy. That a kiss that Tasha needs is I didn't write this down, but Janet's frozen, so I'm gonna <laughs> make it up. Um, the kiss that Tasha needs for his white chocolate is downtown. That's right, people. <laughs> Can you see me yet? <laughs> and then. <laughs> We go on to Ed, who ended up getting the Man Child Award, which I, I still don't understand. I don't know how he ended up getting the Man Child and fucking Bennett got the Growing Ass Man Award when yeah. he couldn't spell or answer any of the questions and he didn't do the physical challenge, but showed up in a robe and now he's like, oh yeah, here I am to save the day. The Hey guys, it's Janet, and I do not know what's going on. I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max since we podcasted last time, so I don't know if it's the phone, Apple, we need to talk, or it could be my Wi-Fi. So the girls dropped off. We've been trying to podcast for an hour, and you'll see, we don't have an hour's worth of content. We didn't get to talk fully about The Bachelorette or any of the other shows that we're watching, but I really hope that you enjoyed this podcast Share us with your friends, laugh along with us, and make sure if you're interested in winning a free download of the stand-in movie, shoot us a message wherever you are finding us. If you look in our show notes, we have all of our contact information. Thank you guys so much. We'll be back. Um, it's all planned to come back December 23rd for our next podcast. Thank you guys so much for listening. Have a wonderful day. Like, share, subscribe, all the things. And cheers. Drink that wine. Keep smiling. Bye.